Hi, I'm Tor Miller, and you're live in limbo. One last night with you, one last avenue, one last moment to remember. One more real train stop, and one last look at you. So I'm Shannon. Um, you're watching Live in Limbo. We're sitting here with Tor Miller, and he's about to play a show tonight at Adelaide Hall. Yes. Are you excited? Yeah, it's going to be great. Do you like Toronto? I do love Toronto. Um, I feel as if... I get a lot of love here from the people, so it's like a nice feeling. The shows always have a lot of energy. Okay, rough estimate. How many times have you been to Toronto? Uh, I think this is like my ninth time in a year and a half. Do you do a lot of sightseeing while you're here? No. I haven't really, no. no. I mean, I've been around like Kensington Market and mm -hmm. stuff like that, but... Go to the aquarium. Oh, I want to so, so bad. I'm trying to get the band to. Literally, yeah. you'll feel like a five-year-old because there's like sharks going over top Love of you it. and you're like, you can go in the, it's literally the coolest thing in the whole world. All right. Well, I got to do it. Do yeah. it. Okay. So, um, I've been trying to make a band since I was like in high school and mm. I, like people always like, oh, what do you play? And I'm like, oh, I play piano. And then they give you that look and they're like, you're a loser. Why would I want to join a band with someone who plays piano? So why did you choose to learn piano? It's like. I, um. Uh... I mean, I think it mostly comes down to my parents put me in lessons as a kid. And I think it's a beautiful instrument. And uh, as I started writing music, I realized that it's, it's like the essential writing, you know, mm -hmm. piece. And uh, you can just sort of envision the arrangement much more clearly when it's all laid out like that. Um, so I just really loved it. And it, it, I thought it blended well with my voice as I started getting older. And just like where I grew up, everyone was playing guitar. So Yeah, that's true. Um <laughs> uh so when you first started playing piano did you like playing piano no not at all actually like i tried to skip all my lessons all the time and i really didn't enjoy it uh it wasn't until like we moved and i got a new teacher that things started changing yeah when my parents like put me in lessons too they did the same thing and i hated it like i literally only went because she had two dogs that i like to play with and mm -hmm. then i stopped playing and then i just taught myself to play again and i agree like piano i feel like is one of the most underrated instruments i think ever. so i it's like and a lot of the old 70s records and like rock records I like have piano in there. It's just used in a yeah. tasteful way. Yeah. Um, so why did you choose to go solo with your career instead of, you know, joining up with the band? I was in a band uh, throughout high school and it really just became a case of everyone was splitting for college. I did most of the writing and everything. And I always wrote and performed by myself anyway when I was preparing the songs for the band. Um, and then I just figured... Like, why should I like have to answer to anyone or sort of make all these sort of uh, arrangements for other people when I could just handle everything myself? Yeah, for sure. It's just so much easier when it's just you. Yeah, well, you know, you don't of... have to worry about everyone else. Yeah, I always hate group projects anyway. Um, so your debut album, American English, comes out next week. Yep. September 30th. Been a long time coming. Has it, not? it has. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. Okay, so we're going to ask a few general questions about the album. Um, since obviously no one's heard it yet, uh... What is your favorite song off the album? You know, it's changing always. Uh, I'm really proud of the whole record. Uh, Crust Punk Queen is a song I really love. Um, and I have since I started writing it. Uh, yeah, it's a good one. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Uh, are any songs like stand out that were particularly like easy to write or hard to write? Uh, Midnight was, I mean, most of the songs are written um, in a couple days. But uh, like a song like Crust Punk Queen, for instance, I uh, started writing a couple years ago and then like along the way just added a little bit. So that that's a, that was a long process. Um, Midnight was particularly frustrating, like figuring out the chorus. Mm -hmm. um, but eventually it came together, thankfully. Um, so when I'm listening to albums, what I like to do is kind of like paint a picture in my head, like tell a story. Mm -hmm. um, if you were to say your album tells a story, what would it be? Um, I mean, it's just really a journal of my life. Um, in the last three or four years, uh, living in New York, um, the people I met and, and left and, you know, relationships that uh, began and ended. Yeah. So the usual stuff. You, you know. know. Yeah. Like if you were to open up someone's diary, that's what you would find. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I feel like everybody who has like a passion for music and loves music has somebody that made them love music. Mm -hmm. Who would you say the artist that made you fall in love with in music and like made you decide, hey, this is what I want to do with my yeah, life? Yeah, I think it's like split between uh, David Bowie and Elton John, uh, you know, both of which uh, like I, I started listening to at a very formative age. And um, they just inspired me to start writing songs and singing and, and yeah. really taking it 
seriously now is that your parents influence like your yeah definitely my mom was a huge bowie fan yeah uh, and showed me all those records yeah for sure i find even like today my dad still influences the music i listen to i guess when you spend so much time like long car rides and stuff. yeah of course i mean i haven't i don't have like the opera influences that they're into <laughs> but yeah. no i wouldn't go sit down and like yeah, yeah, yeah. want to watch an opera but you know um so you're touring North America right now. Are you doing it in a van, in a bus? Yeah, we've got a van. This is like the third time this year. Okay, so is that long ride sitting in a chair? Yeah, or if you're lucky enough, you get the the middle row to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do to keep yourself occupied on like your eight hour car rides? We, we played a couple games today, like the movie game. Um, and we did like guess like you just pick a category and people have to guess like what your favorite thing from it is. Just all these random little like road games and uh, listen to a bunch of podcasts. What about like Hangman? Do you ever do that? Or no, no, I no. Spy was my favorite one when we were doing road trips. That's a good one. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, in the back of the van, we'll play cards too. Yeah, yeah. My sister and I, what we used to do when we were like really young to entertain ourselves, we'd just like beat each other up in the back of the Yeah, car. well that works as well, yeah. <laughs> and my parents would be like driving, stop it right now. And we're just like literally beating the shit out of each yeah. other. <laughs> we don't have that blood to tie us together like that. It's the only something that comes with being siblings. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, so I would say you're pretty young and in the music industry. I read somewhere that when you're one of the, or were one of the youngest people signed to your label, the label that you share with Mumford and Sons, which is really cool. Nice. Um, so... You're kind of at like the start of your career. You're just releasing a debut album. Where do you see yourself in five years? Like what kind of future goals do you have? I would just like to constantly be putting out records that people care about and kind of whatever level that is, is mm -hmm. how it is. I, I expect to be making good music five years from now. So, and better music than I'm making now. Yeah, for sure. It's always about just like evolving and changing. Yeah, well, everything else is like, it doesn't really matter. Just as long yeah. as the songs are getting better. Yeah. Um, could you see yourself doing anything else, like ever? Not really. Um, no. No. Yeah, no, I can't. Yeah. No, I can't see myself doing anything. So you're like one step <laughs> ahead of me. I mean, <laughs> I would like to expand my horizons in art, you know, um, and and whatever that may be, we'll see. But um, just mm -hmm. creative stuff. Only time will tell, right? Yeah, exactly. All right. Thank you so much for staying yeah. with us and good luck at your show tonight. Thank you. Thank you.